All right, kia ora boys. Um, what I thought we'd do is we'd try something a little bit different with this Pythagoras stuff to start with. So usually we would use calculators, um, but I thought what we'd try and do is is use these Eaton tables we explored the other day. So ultimately what we're trying to do with solving Pythagoras' theorem is, is find the side of a triangle, of a particular right angle triangle, okay? So from the other day, remember, we've got Pythagoras' theorem, which is A squared plus B squared is H squared. And hopefully you remember what the H stands for. That is the hypotenuse. Okay, that's the longest side of my triangle. And the A and the B, you know, they're just the other two sides. Okay. So to solve this top one here, what I need to do is I need to find A and B and H. That's what I need to do. I need to label it. I need to write out Pythagoras' theorem. It's always good to write this out so you don't get it mixed up. Okay. Then you can substitute in 3 squared and 6 squared. And there's H squared. Now, remember, I mean, 3 and 6 are probably easy to do, but but decimals are not as easy to do. Um, but remember, so 3 squared is 9, and 6 squared is 36. So that's 9 plus 36 is equal to H squared. And so therefore, H is the square root of, what is that, 45. Okay, so now I've got to try and find 45 inside my tables. Okay, and that there is pretty close to 45. Okay, and in actual fact, that one there, plus that 11 there, is my answer. So 6.708. So H is 6.0, no, so again, 6.0. 708 to three significant or to three decimal places, four significant figures. But if you were to give me the answer of 6.71, I'd be happy with that as well. Okay. So the next question here, same process, um, A, B, and H. Let's write out the formula, a squared plus b squared is h squared, so that's going to be um, x squared plus 7 squared is 15 squared. So these are the questions where it's useful to write out the formula because actually h is my longer side, it's not my unknown side here as it was up there. It's not the subject of my formula on this particular equation, so I need to rearrange this equation. To do that, what I'll do is I'll go x squared is 15 squared minus 7 squared. Okay, I'll go 15 squared. Now these tables don't go up to 15 squared, so I can go 1.5 is 2.25. So 15 squared is going to be 225. Uh, 7 squared is 49. So 225 minus 49, um, what's it going to be, 171 hopefully? No, what did I say? 225 minus 50 is 175, so it's going to be 176. Okay, now this is where it'll get tricky. 176, what I'll try and look for is 1.76 1.76 is there plus 18 which that there is the closest so it's going to be 1.327 so it's going to be so the square root of 1.76 I said was 1.327 so therefore the square root of 176 is going to be 13.27. So x is going to be the square root of 176, which is 
which equals 13.27 okay see if you can do it using these tables it'd be cool if you could if you can't don't stress okay I thought I'd do one more question with the decimals, make sure you guys are okay with it. So remember, find your hypotenuse, label A and B. It doesn't matter if that's A or that's A, because they're both the shortest sides. Write out your formula, A squared plus B squared is H squared. So therefore 2.1 squared plus 4.3 squared is going to be this H squared. So 2.1 squared, 4.41. Plus 4.3 squared, 18.49 is equal to h squared. So now we have to do that maths. So 4941, that's going to be 0.9, so it's going to be 22.9, hopefully, is h squared. Now we're going to try and find 22.9 to 22.9. 22.9 is pretty close. That's 22.9 there, isn't it? It's 4.7. What's that number there? Get yourself a ruler out. So 4.785. So h is the square root of 22.9. And I've forgotten what I said. So 4.785. That's my answer. And you can get a calculator, check it afterwards if you like. But if you can, try it. What I would like you to do is make sure you are setting it out with that step, with that step, with that step, with that step, just so that I know that if you can do all of this, especially if you can do that step there and understand that you've got to take the square root, then when you get a calculator, you are going to be fine. Okay, have a crack at those.